Victor here with Worldwide Corals. Uh, today we're going to show you how to frag an aquapore out of our 1500 gallon tank. Uh, it's called the Dragon Slayer. It's overgrowing a little bit, so we're going to show you how to make some nice frags. So first thing we do, we're trying to get on the base under and we're trying to pry it with not too much pressure. Not easy when you don't get, there it is. Deep tank. Ooh, we're diving. All right. Here it is, guys. There's the frag plug that we originally glue, glue under. You guys can see all the growth. You see all the growth, all the extra branches. Beautiful coral, Dragon Slayer. It's got a yellow base, uh, pink branches, and it's got blue on the tips with red polyps. Uh, fast grower, easy to keep. Uh, frags are only $89. Here we have a container of water. The first thing that we look for is the easiest pattern to cut the acropora without hacking it up, throwing it into little chunks. It's kind of like pruning when you prune a plant when it's overgrown on a tree. So there's a nice little tip right there that is far away from everything. There goes one. Normally, if it's not too thick, the branch, I like to use the tip of the bone cutters. That's two frags right there that you guys see. I see another nice one right here. Something that I like to do sometimes instead of just close the, the bone cutters, is just close and twist. So as you guys can see right there, the coral looks like it hasn't been hurt or anything. We can put it back and let it grow again. And we got five nice little tips. Now all we have to do is mount them and glue them. We're gonna go ahead and put a tiny dab of glue, very tiny, just for contact. Then we're gonna grab a piece of epoxy, wet your hands. Just like Play-Doh when you were a little kid. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put a small little epoxy ball on each. Then the same thing, another dab of glue on top of the epoxy. And they mount immediately. Best way to do aquafrags. We're gonna go ahead and put them in an area where they're gonna sit for several weeks and then we're gonna show you guys what they look like. We're gonna show you the growth, the coloration, and how easy to keep this coral is. 